Here's problem 428. A track star in the broad jump goes into the jump at 12 meters per second and launches himself at 20 degrees above the horizontal. How long is he in the air before returning to Earth? So let's imagine what's going on here. We are going to have a track star launching himself into the air at a speed, initial speed, of 12 meters per second. And he'll go through projectile motion like this. Launch angle is 20 degrees. So we know that um, the initial velocity in the y direction will equal uh, v naught sine theta. And that's going to be equal to 12 times the sine of 20 degrees. And that is 4.10 meters per second. So that's our initial velocity in the y direction. We know our acceleration is going to be a negative 9.8 meters per second squared because we're going to go with the up direction as being our positive direction, our initial velocity direction. What else do we know? Um, ultimately, we're going to come back down to Earth. So our total displacement in the y direction is going to be zero. And we want to find our time. So those are four kinematic variables we can use right there, three of them that we know. Looking at the equation, delta y is equal to initial velocity, in this case in the y direction, times time, plus one-half acceleration in the y direction times time squared. We have that our displacement ultimately is going to be zero. So we have that uh, zero is equal to 4.10t plus one-half times a negative 9.8 times t squared. So here we have a negative 4.9. So we have 4.9 t squared equals 4.10 t. We can get rid of one of the t's. And so our time is going to equal 4.10 divided by 4.9. And that's equal to 0 0.838 seconds. Now if you were to calculate the time it took to get to maximum height, and then multiply that by 2 uh, for projectile motion, you would get the same answer as this. But this is a, a better way to look about it because then you don't have to memorize any special formulas other than um, the kinematic formulas. So it's a good way to just approach everything in a kinematic way. 0.838 seconds.